Hello, everybody, and welcome to Inside the Bunker. I wanted to talk to my friends here and introduce two friends of mine, Sean and John. They happen to be real life brothers. They look exactly alike. <laughs> so uh, both of them are actually friends of mine. They're not brothers. They basically um, look a lot alike and a lot of people get them confused uh, throughout the neighborhood um, that we're in uh, when we go to each other's stores and stuff like that. So it's kind of funny. So thank you, John and Sean, for coming and joining me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Awesome. So we're here to talk some NFL. Uh, a lot of people listened to my first episode and gave me some feedback on like preseason picks. I got a lot of feedback for it because, you know, I made some picks that other people weren't happy of and stuff like that, which, again, I'm fine with because it's preseason and um, I'm not Nostradamus. So <laughs> with that being said, I was going to do an episode a little bit. Uh, I invited them on. Uh, John's a diehard Indianapolis Colts fan. Sean likes the Miami Dolphins. Um, <laughs> Sue is having a really <laughs> <dolphin thing. laughs> so we, we decided what was going to happen is um, we're going to talk a little bit about where the division is this is actually going to air uh, after the week eight uh, matchup right now between the Packers and the Cardinals so that's going to be excluded from this but it's week seven so we're going to kind of do, do like a kind of mid-season little analysis of where each division is whether it kind of matched our picks of where we were at the beginning of the season, and also some surprises and disappointments for each division. So with that, Sean, what I was going to do, I'm going to, since the floor is yours, the AFC East, your uh, division that you are very familiar with. Yeah. How do you, what, what's your thoughts on the AFC East so far? I mean, it's what you predicted. The Bills are number one. I think there are two losses to Tennessee, and I think, who is their other, I don't even know who their other loss The to. Steelers. Was it the Steelers in week one? Yeah. 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 Like, those are both they they're flukes, obviously. I don't know what's going on with like Tennessee's a good team. I'll give them that. Tennessee has proven they're a good team. That loss to the Steelers doesn't make any sense. Uh Patriots in number two. I don't see them making a wild card. I see them finishing strong. Mac Jones looks good. He doesn't look like the next Tom Brady at all. But he looks real good. He's running the Tom Brady offense essentially. He just has no wide receivers. There's no – can you name a wide receiver on that team? I couldn't. <laughs> well, be I could because I follow them, but, like, <laughs> the Jets are consistently the laughing stock of the league. And right now the Dolphins are, and that hurts. But, like, <laughs> and people are willing to blame Tua, and they want to trade Tua away. But if you look at it, you guys don't follow them as well. Go back to last season, the end of last season, they gave up 50-something points to the Bills. That defense got exposed. It hasn't been the same since. They have been – that defense is just not – they can't generate a pass rush. So the, the coverage is getting blown every time. Xavier Howard is one of the best cornerbacks in the league. He can't cover for five, six seconds. No one can. No, no. If you're not so, – yeah, if you're not getting – if you're not getting pressure and doing that. I – that is actually – I'll be honest. It, I mean, I think the Miami Dolphins – is probably my biggest disappointment so far this oh, season. I, as you know, I picked yeah. them to make a wild card. I, I mean, they're what one and six now, and that was yeah. really. I mean, I gave them some love. I mean, ten and six last year, I felt like they should have made the playoffs. I mean, obviously because of tiebreakers and yeah. such, they couldn't. But I am with you on that. I feel like, like out of that division, especially, it is a hundred percent my biggest disappointment. Yeah, because yeah, I just looked at it as I didn't see the Jets beating the Titans to start the season. I mean, I did predict them kind of to be where they are. So, and then I did not see Miami um, beating New England at home. I saw them beating them later in the year, yeah. like normal, but I didn't see them winning in Foxborough. So because I hate the Jets with a passion. The only reason the Jets won that game, Julio wasn't playing, Brown wasn't playing. Yeah. So they just crowded the box and stopped Henry. Tannehill, yeah. who I know better than any other quarterback yeah. in the league, <laughs> he – he is. He will have three Tannehill moments a game, and he will blow it for him in games like that that he should easily win. He will lose it. It sucks because I love Tannehill. I, I was rooting for him two years ago. I was like, beat the Chiefs. Go to Miami, prove everyone wrong, win that Super Bowl in Miami. That would have been great. Yeah, yeah. the Dolphins are just – <laughs> But do, honestly, do you agree, John, with your with your picks? Is it pretty much what yeah, you Yeah, pretty much um, – I looked back at the games I thought people should have won and lost and the records are right where they should have been. But there was a, a thing where, you know, you're like, I don't see the dolphins going into new England and, and beating them. But then you look at my uh, new England this year and they're just not winning at home. 
they're just losing at home. And I'm like, oh, that's something that's I didn't actually, see. Yeah, in my notes here, because I kind of went through my preseason picks. So for those that didn't listen, you know, kind of go back and look. But yeah. my picks are pretty much on point. I The only thing was the Dolphins and the Patriots. I put them as kind of like neck and neck. And obviously that's not the case. Um, my biggest surprise, actually, are that the Patriots are one and four at home this year. <laughs> they usually are a very good home team, and the, yeah. for them to be two and zero on the road and one and four at home, and the fact they've already played yeah. five home games, that's kind of ridiculous. But that's here or there. But um, sure. yeah, I would say pretty much that division's kind of falling where I would, except for the Dolphins being the most yeah. disappointment. Do you think of Belichick? Do you think of Belichick as a win this season? He retires. He has seven. I. I don't know. It's, it's hard to it's say. Daniel. Yeah, I, I, I think. So. I mean, I don't think he will. I honestly, I, I don't think. I think he's got too much of investment right. unless, he's fi- unless he was fired or got some better opportunity somewhere. I don't think he's going anywhere. I mean, him and Robert Kraft are, I think, pretty close. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure he's not going to go anywhere. But you never know. It depends on how they finish the season. I think if Mac Jones is on the up and everything seems to be going well. I see him coming back one more year. If not, um, USC is looking for a coach. (laughs) That is very, very, very true. So the AFC North. Okay, so we're going to move on to the AFC North now. We have, so to lead the division, we have the Cincinnati Bengals, 5-2. Baltimore Ravens, 5-2. They're tied, but Cincinnati holds the tiebreaker because they just put them whopping on Baltimore. (laughs) The Cleveland Browns at 4-3, and and we have the Pittsburgh Steelers at 3-3. I would say my biggest surprise is the Cincinnati Bengals. Yes. How in the heck are they 5-2? and two? They've already won more games than last year. They were, what, 4-11-1 last year. So for them to have kind of just turned it around that quickly, I know that, you know, getting Joe Burrow back and all that is very, yeah. I mean, obviously. But for them to, I mean, and their rookie wide receiver, I mean, he's killing it. I know him and Joe Burrow have a, you know, relationship outside. You know, he played co- in the same college with him and everything. But it's, they're, they're, yeah doing awesome and i would say my biggest disappointment for that division is the browns and i and and it's not really their fault um i felt like the browns are a little bit they were closer to kind of being super bowl caliber they've had a lot of injuries that you can't really fault them for that so but i would say as far as disappointments go in that division that's where i would put them so um so sean what do you think Bengals. yeah that's a huge surprise i thought the ravens were just going to run away with it like the Bengals. (laughs) Hey, we should draft a lineman. Now we're going to draft Chase, and he's going to put up 500 yards right. in the first seven games and just tear the league up. Like he, offensive rookie of the year. It, yeah, and he and he also was the one that was you know having problems catching the ball because of because no yeah, strength right. at, the, at the beginning yeah. of the season. So I'm looking at that and I'm like, okay, uh, what have we done? What have we yeah. done? <laughs> I didn't notice this till right now though. Points allowed and the little statistic thing here. They have the least amount in the division. Who would have thought their defense would be the best in the division right now? Like, yeah, I I mean, and and, and I was watching that game a little bit on um, Sunday, and for them to to handle Baltimore in Baltimore the way they did was impressive. I mean, they they for whatever reason they found lightning in a bottle, and everything's going right for them. And I mean, good good for them. Yeah, (laughs) it it shocked me uh, because you're like, okay, I see Baltimore leading the division, and then all of a sudden they had that really good comeback against the Colts, which saddened me but they basically figure out how to stop them and just run against them. But then like that Ravens beat down at home. You're just like, wait, what just happened? How do you, I got, I mean, they beat the chiefs. They come back and, you know, beat the Colts. And then you just get swacked at home. And you're like, Ey. right. Right. And then the other thing with Cleveland, can they win long-term without Baker Mayfield? I don't know. I, they have way too many injuries right now. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm kind of worried for the Browns. I mean, I, yeah. I still think they will make the playoffs, but they're in a – I mean, that division, obviously, you got the, now the Bengals are a player that you didn't expect. Yeah, you didn't, you you didn't got expect. Baltimore, who is going to be Baltimore. And, and then, then you got, I, I don't yeah. trust the Steelers to, to manage to stay afloat, really. No, this is Roethlisberger's uh, last yeah, year. Yeah, I think yeah. it has to be because he's just – he's not as young as he once was to bring them back if they get – they fall behind and they just don't – they don't seem to be running the ball like their 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 normal, you know, profile is run the ball and defense. Yeah, I'm yeah. shocked that they actually yeah. um, he even came back this year. I mean, yeah. obviously last year well, I I, yeah. it was going to be it, but but I mean, going back to injuries though, the Ravens, who's their running back? Le'Veon yeah. Bell passed his yeah. prime. 
they're on what the fourth running back Humphreys went down yeah Humphreys and who was it Dobson went down the same practice yeah mm-hmm. and do you really need a running back if you have Lamar Jackson just ask him yeah who, who I mean a quarterback <laughs> no, <just saying. laughs> I mean they they what held or were really close to an NFL record of you know consecutive games with 100 or more rushing yards as a team so I mean I know that was broken a couple weeks ago but against the Colts uh, against the Colts yeah so but um But yeah, I would say to go to my preseason picks, the Browns I had winning the division, followed by Baltimore, the Steelers, and then the Bengals being last. So I am completely off my pace as far as (laughs) that division goes. So it's it's all knowing knowing what you know halfway through the season, though. Do you really trust a healthy Baker even coming in second in this division? No, I still I still see third place. I I do now. Yeah, Yeah, if I had to, if I if I got like a, a a what a mulligan! I would say, yeah, the Browns are definitely a third place team. I, I think they are better than the Steelers. I do not yeah. see the Steelers going anywhere. I mean, and it's hard to see with the AFC like where the wild cards could come in because they could even make a run for a wild card technically, uh, Cleveland. But I just don't. I don't. I see them stumbling at the end. Yeah. Especially now they have injuries with their running backs. If they can stay healthy, you know, you're down to your third string running back in Cleveland right now. I mean, yeah. their schedule the rest of the way is Steelers, Browns, Brown, Browns in back-to-back weeks. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Steelers, Bengals, Patriots, Lions, Ravens, Ravens, Raiders, Packers, Steelers, Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to come down I mean, to, I mean, again, with yeah. the NFL, uh, as I was saying with the preseason picks, it's it's a, it's going to come down to injuries. I mean, if some Injuries teams, and if the yeah, team actually yeah, shows up. Yeah. 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 And depth. I mean, coming down to yeah. depth. What? Um. Okay. So let's. So for to the AFC South, since that's your division, John. You know, yes. Mr. Uh, Indianapolis Mr. Colts fans. What? Yes. What do you see in the, in the AFC South? Uh, I pretty much see it playing out the way it did. Um. In all honesty, the only thing I didn't see was I didn't see Jacksonville winning in London. Like, <laughs> just there's too much off the field issues. I'm sorry, Sean. I'm oh, sorry. In the wound. Trust me. <laughs> trust me. I am very. I was like so upset because I'm sitting here watching them. I'm like, they're gonna break this record of 26 straight losses, and Keith will no longer hold that moniker as a Tampa Bay fan. But I know. I was. I was. I was rooting for the Dolphins. I was watching the game. I'm like, this game has. This game is all on Miami. They've got this. And then it's just the way things like stupid penalties here and there and then getting that chance for that field goal. And you're just like, Eesh. yeah, um, I agree. But, and then Houston, just they're, they're not even fielding a team at this point. It seems they're like, let's trade away all of our talent. We have a quarterback. We're just going to bench uh, because of all the off field issues. And, and then now they're talking about trading for him. I'm like, eh, who's going to really uh, realistically offer you? You right. know what I you're mean, asking for. A apparently, the that, Carolina Panthers and the Miami Dolphins. That's yeah, well, what I'm saying is, if you think about it, right. the cost of trading for him, you know, as soon as he gets traded, they're going to pull up the suspension. Like they're going to have to because there was an agreement in Houston for him not to play. Right. right. But I see Tennessee is they uh, Derrick Henry. Uh, what can you say? It's like um, he's yeah. going to he's going to break all the rushing records, even throwing touchdowns now. So, I mean, like, MVP. I'm worried worried they're going to run him into the ground. His carries are so high. Yeah, he has, I think, what, was it 30 or 40 carries more than the next closest player? And he has 869 yards. Yeah, what was it? The other the other day, around, yeah, you read the article where he's the number one rusher and the second place rusher is closer to 27th rusher than they are to the number one rusher. He has that much, that many more yards, and you're just like... Right, but yeah, and my you know. my picks for the season actually, this is one of my divisions that is actually exactly as I predicted. Tennessee's yeah. first, Indianapolis is second. The Jaguars are technically third; they have one less loss than Houston. Um, I would say my biggest surprise is the fact that Derrick Henry is still that good. <laughs> um, yeah. I expected after leading the league what two years in a row that I was like, ah, there's no yeah, way. Yeah, they're just. And especially with them making the playoffs the last two years too, and them playing the playoffs, you have that extra couple games that they're playing. But I did not expect that. And yeah. I would say my biggest disappointment, I really don't have one because, as I said, my division is yeah. kind of set. I would say it's just that the Jaguars are still that bad. Yeah. I expected I, them I, to make maybe at least, you know. Are you be, really surprised uh, by that, though? Two or three no, wins. I'm not. I'm not. But, as as a fan of this division for as long as I have been, um, watching the Jaguars year in, year out, trying to build a team to stop Indianapolis from scoring points. Mm-hmm. They wasted all their picks on defense. 
or on offense, either way. And it just, they can't keep, like, what was it, two, three years ago, they were one win away from a Super Bowl? Yeah. And then the entire team, the entire team Mm -hmm. imploded right there when they started losing. Yeah. Yeah. They literally, the next season, won one game and everyone was gone because, you know, Fournette left. He wanted out. Mm -hmm. Uh, you had Jalen Ramsey wanted out, and you're just like you you, you lost Campbell, so you're just like Eesh. you can't keep anybody. Who's gonna want to come to play for a team where you're losing everybody? Urban's right. gonna leave. He's not. Yeah, he's, he, I season. think he's done by the end of the season. I, I would say I would say I think he's going to last till the end of the season, and then I think he's gone. Yeah, I, I barring I, barring any more like scandal thing or whatever, yeah. where they just basically <laughs> have to pull the trigger and get him gone. The smartest right. thing they can do is either hire Debo from Clemson, since they're having a horrible season. Oh, God, yeah. Or hire the offensive coordinator from Kansas City. I don't know why no one hires him. Oh, Bel- Bellamy or Bel- whatever. Yeah. Bellamy, yeah. yeah. Bellamy. Like he, yeah. It's the Mahomes offense. I get seeing what Nagy does in Chicago. Yeah, you want to stay away from it, but like. Right. He, yeah. Meyer's not the coach. He doesn't know what he's doing. In my opinion. As somebody who's like, a Michigan fan, I follow him. You know. Yeah, drafting ETN in the first round, like, oh, okay, there's a whole bunch of other players who are better value players at this point. You don't need a running back. It's clear you still don't need a running back with Jacobs doing whatever he's doing. I think one thing, too, this NFL season is showing is we all get caught up in the preseason. Oh, this rookie is going to take the league by storm. And what rookie quarterback yeah. right now has taken the lead by storm? Trevor Lawrence yeah. hasn't. Mac Jones. I mean, they're playing Mac okay. Jones, some of them. The Mac Wilson. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because that was that's my biggest disappointment for like the year, is none of the rookie quarterbacks are really. Well, they have a great preseason or a couple great games in preseason, and then everybody wants to crown them as the next MVP. Well, yeah, and, Justin Fields, and that's we'll something see. every year we go through it. It, it happens every single yeah. year. So. but some of the quarterbacks that have started have actually in the past have actually been able to at least make a run to say, "Hey, we're improving from where we were last year." Right now, now you just have teams that are just like, oh, "We're going to go all in on this rookie," and they don't protect them. They like again, yeah. we've talked about it in person about how you need to build the offensive line before you try and throw one of these rookie quarterbacks in there because they're going to get murdered. Yeah, I think exactly. If, if they would have stuck with the plan, like obviously Jacksonville didn't have a plan, but I like the plan of yeah. get a veteran. He starts yeah. this season. Do what they did with Mahomes. Alex Smith's going to start this year. Mahomes plays the last game. He's Mahomes up until yeah. this year. <laughs> like, right. That's the, that's the best way to do it because you you're standing on the sideline. You're sense you're getting the sense of everything. You're like, oh, that guy's open here. Where in college he's open, he's not open. I'm yeah. not throwing him because he's not 15 yards open downfield. Yeah, I've always agreed. Yeah, putting them to the fire. I mean, I can see both sides of it. I see the the good and bad of like, okay, get him get his feet wet, put him in the game. But you can also kill someone's confidence with that as well. Yeah, and yeah. and you Especially... might see some ghosts. You know, like Sam Darnold. <laughs> so, well, I mean, look at Trevor Lawrence. He never lost really a meaningful game in the regular season until yeah. this year, and now he went and lost what six, uh, five They're games. One and yeah. five. Yeah, one and five. So he loses five games, and one of them they shouldn't have even won. Technically, you know, it wasn't even him. So it's just like you're like, mm-hmm. he hasn't mm-hmm. done anything to prove to me that he's the answer. Yeah. But you know, not to say he won't be next year or whatever with time, but. It's also a thing of just Jerbo or last year. He looked good in certain moments and looked bad, but you get a year in that offense, you're yeah. a completely different player next year. Yeah, and I think too helping, like you said, with the wide receiver being, you know, him being familiar, someone he's familiar with helps a yeah. lot. I <laughs> think like he has that go-to guy. He can kind of be like, all right, like kind of like Tampa with Gronkowski and Brady. I mean, that's yeah. his security blanket. He has someone that he knows is always going to be there. I feel um, like the Jaguars are going to constantly be when you do this again next year and you do your preseason guess, it's going to be Jaguars on the bottom, Texas second from last. Colton Unless there's a big yeah. change or a big trade or yeah. something, I, I I guess. Yeah. But yeah. It's probably going to I, be. Uh, I got to say, I don't know if Carson Wentz is our answer because he can't stay healthy. It's, it's, he's been better that the last three weeks. The other night, though. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It wasn't. No, it was ruled a fumble. It was, yeah. wasn't ruled an interception because, because he technically tipped, like it was he, tipped like out of his hand. It was yeah. a tip pass or whatever, and they called it a, like a fumble or something like that. I'll give that guy credit though; he has all yeah. the heart in the world. He does not quit on a play. Oh, well, he doesn't quit. Yes, yeah, so I'm very happy with that. But I yeah, just there was another quarterback um, named Jameis Winston that did that too, Sean. So just yeah. throwing it out there. Yeah, he never quit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. They won the other night. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah. 
So the AFC uh, West, uh, that division, again, I thought was going to be kind of a cakewalk yeah. for the Kansas City Chiefs. I will be honest with you. Every, I think there's pretty much almost nobody that probably didn't think, okay, the Chiefs are probably going to rough shot this division. Yeah, they're going to run away with it. And the, we have now the Las Vegas Raiders are 5-2, and two, the Los Angeles Chargers at 4-2, and two, the Kansas City Chiefs are 3-4, and four, tied with the Denver Broncos at 3-4. and four. So honestly, my biggest disappointment is the Kansas City Chiefs. Obviously, I mean, yeah. I, for them to have four losses already, and Mahomes does not look good Mahomes-ish. at all. I mean, yeah. they they are just they can't play defense. Anybody can run, you know, score thirty plus run, points against throw. them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want against them. I would yeah. say my biggest surprise so far of this division is the Raiders, um, especially with the John Gruden scandal and all that, and him yeah. getting fired. For them to have two yeah. wins after that, and and playing like a, they almost are playing like a better team. A better them. team, yeah. So with the with the training wheels me. off. Yeah, it doesn't shock me at all. But uh, what are your guys' thoughts on the AFC West? So, the Broncos are a joke. Their three yeah. wins were against three winless teams at the time. Yep. And yep. Granted, it's week one, two, and three, but they were all like, I think when you combine it, they were 0 and 9 or something like that. Yeah. The Chiefs are obviously, I, I saw a statistic that their defense is ranked 31st or 32nd in every major defense thing, statistical yeah. category. I, awesome. I, don't, I don't understand that with the players they have. You think mm-hmm. Matthew would at least get them doing something right? Uh, yeah. I, I think the Raiders will lose the division, but they'll win a wild card. I, I think it's Justin Herbert's clearly the answer in San Diego for now. Yeah, I, I, I wish he was taking number five instead of Tua, but at the time it <laughs> yeah. was it was up in the air. Uh, but that kid's good. He he has everything you can ask for in a quarterback. He has that team believing. Just like yeah, every time He's I good. see him, they're. Those games they lost last year, obviously poor coaching. The games they're winning this year, mm-hmm. going for it on what third and two on your own twenty two weeks ago, down by ten. Like, are you playing Madden? What, yeah. <laughs> what are you much. doing? I like it though. I mean, it's it's yeah. It's, it shows a little bit a of lot. faith. It's not. Yeah. It's not about just you know, oh, punt on fourth down every single time, no matter where yeah. the ball is on the field. I, I think it's their division. They have a pretty easy schedule the rest of the way. It's the Eagles, the Vikings, the Steelers, the Broncos, Bengals, Giants, Chiefs, Texans, Broncos, Raiders. Yeah, they lose what two of those games, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah if, if they stay if healthy, goes right. Yeah, because yeah. my stepdad's a, a big Broncos fan. And so, like, you know, you hear that, oh, we're 3-0, and 3-0. and And I don't like to always go to the, well, who have you played? But that is case in point, you know, their record again, 3-4. and four. They've lost four straight games. And it's like, you got to tell me that there's there's not even a moral victory in there, in my from my point of view. Yeah, they're there's, kind nothing of like, build, there's nothing to build off of. Yeah, I feel like the Denver Broncos are kind of like the AFC version of the Carolina Panthers. That's kind of what I like. They started three and zero. Everybody's yeah. like ready to crown them, you know. Yeah. But they are who we thought they were. So yes, you know. that's correct. So if you think about it, minus the Peyton Manning years, going back to Elway retiring, the Broncos might be the worst run team. Like and this is coming from a Dolphin fan. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I, they're just part of me. You have to wonder. I if, don't understand it. If it's John Elway as the GM. Because he doesn't like to develop players. He wants to bring in that big name and then kind of just ride the defense or the running game. And their defense hasn't been as good. Well, a lot a lot of it too, I think, has to do with the fact that even when Peyton Manning, I mean, won, it was that defense. The defense yeah, yeah, won the that Super Bowl. Yeah, it, was it was not it was not Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning wasn't the, He was the year I'm before. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna throw for five thousand yards and fifty touchdowns, you know. So I think that that's and that's a hard recipe to kind of do. I mean, because yeah. you need your whole defense buying in a great defensive coordinator and, and everything. And it's just I think that's yeah. part of it. But. And then now you look at like the Chiefs, where they built all that young talent into premier players. That, but how long is that going to last with the the salary cap? You know, eventually you're going to hit a point where a player wants too much, and you're going to sever ties. And especially look what they, they did with their offensive what? line. The offensive line, yeah. Yeah, Mahomes is a fourth at your salary cap every year. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah. team friendly numbers, so they can always renegotiate it later or whatever. But I, I I we'll, we'll see. It's the Chargers division. It's yeah. not even close. Like the Raiders will keep it close. I just feel like even with an assistant head coach, how often do they really like 
an interim head coach. How often do they yeah. came out going to the playoffs? Most yeah. of the time it's in a bad situation. This is a bad situation, but they've won two in a row with them. I just don't yeah. see him winning the division. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, well, and we'll see too, like when the Raiders, yeah, start playing tougher competition, how they kind of, yeah, everything will kind of work out for itself. Yeah. Even um, if they do make the playoffs, do you think they're going to get very far? Probably not. No, I mean, throw it to Waller enough, sure. <laughs> <laughs> he has to stay healthy. All it takes is, it's you true. know, someone getting hurt and then your season's. I mean, Derek Carr is having an amazing season. He's second in the NFL in passing yards, but I just don't feel like. The past two games, they've realized they have Josh Jacobs. Run the ball. (laughs) Run the ball. Yeah, but the problem is, too, is he had that shoulder injury, I think it was last year. And so you got to be careful with that because what happens when you my fantasy team, I'm aware. (laughs) (laughs) That works for I picked up Kenyon Drake. He's got me points, but it's just like, man, I I just don't – I don't know. Yeah. I want to root for him because I like Derek Carr a lot, but I, I like know. the Roomba, the stadium, the Roomba, <laughs> well, the, the Death Star, Roomba, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a Roomba. They call it the it Death Star. Like I call it, it a Roomba. Like, it Death literally Star's looks are... like a hockey puck. Right, right. But so that's the AFC for now. Uh, the NFC East. We'll start with the NFC East now. The Dallas Cowboys are five and one. The Washington Football Team's two and five. Philadelphia two and five, and the Giants two and five. So this division's <laughs> over already, in my opinion. I mean, it was over in week three, probably. But yeah. I I picked Dallas to win the division. Easy, um, I didn't pick them easily to win the division in my preseason picks. And then I picked Washington to be second, which technically they are guys tied for second, third, All fourth. All of them are tied for second. Um, so this division is about where I thought it would be when I started. I felt like if Dak Prescott came back and, you know, his shoulder, I know, was an issue and, his, and obviously his – his, you know, breaking uh, his leg. Calf right now. The I felt like they're going to win this division easily, and they are doing it. I didn't think they'd be this good. I'll be honest with you. They can put up points, and they can have a pretty good defense. But as much as I hate to say it, because I'm not a Dallas fan, <laughs> um, they're they're pretty good. Um, I think the, my biggest disappointment is this division is that this division is still this bad. Um, they have regressed, if anything. I think. I mean, besides Dallas, they, this division is just terrible. I, I hate anytime. Yeah. I mean, the Giants are on national television, I think, as much as any other team. Why? Why are they on national television? They don't deserve Probably it. That's who they're playing. Yeah. And and I think by Thanksgiving, New York not, team. Yeah. Yeah, I think this division will be clinched by Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm that confident in how bad this division is. So what are your guys' thoughts on that? Yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, I'm like you. You literally you look at the division and the standings, and you're like, okay, so Dallas is number one, and then you're like, who could be two, three, and four? And it's really just like flip a coin like who do you want to be bad I, it's like you, you washington, got washington, washington was one of my playoff teams i picked and i'm yeah. going way back on that i mean i picked them to at least at least be a 10 win team this year because but you their defense i thought Patrick to be a 10 win team yeah yeah well their defense is not what it was last year, yeah, defense it's, it's, them last no. year. It's, no yeah and look at look at the standing all three of those teams top 10 draft pick all yep. three of them mm-hmm. and it, yeah it's, it's like Dak every Prescott's year we're going to try and pick. Yeah, Dak Prescott's proven he's the real deal. CD is a great receiver. Yeah. Cooper is a great receiver who never gets recognition. And then they're running two running backs with Zeke and Pollard, I think is his last name. Yeah. Yeah, Pollard. Uh, they could be easily, and the thing with the Dallas Cowboys, they could easily be 6-0. and I mean, they should have beaten Tampa on week one, and that's their only loss. And they've won five in a row since then, and they've looked pretty good doing it. The Patriots game notwithstanding that – Patriots gave them all they could handle, which was shocking to me. But yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know because I look at the Giants and you're like, okay, Daniel Jones is your quarterback. You have Saquon Barkley, but if Saquon Barkley can't stay healthy right now because the whole offense, almost like a uh, Carolina Panther, the whole offense kind of ran through him for so long. They kind of rely on him, and it's if you can't stay healthy, then you got problems. Jones is yeah. out after his contract. Mm-hmm. Saquon has no reason to resign with them. Why would you? Yeah, he's gone. They're they're not a good. They're not in a good place right now. The Giants are. I mean, I don't think Daniel Jones is the future for that franchise. I mean, as much as people, you know, they want to believe in him, I just don't see it. I I don't see him. Some some quarterbacks. Same with uh, Zach Wilson. Just can't take New York. I mean, New York's a tough place to play. If this was year one or year two with Daniel Jones, I could see it. This is year three. Yeah, Yeah, you need to make a effort. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I just don't see it. And then, yeah, the Eagles. Eagles going to Eagle. 
uh, I guess. Uh, that's all I can say. I'm like, I have a friend who's a diehard Eagles fan, and I've watched them win that Super Bowl, and they just haven't been the same since, uh, in all honesty. They had re- no-name receivers that can't hold on to the ball the last couple of years. You have a quarterback controversy last year, and so you get rid of the one, and then you've got one that it, you think is the answer, but yeah, is he? Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Did you maybe I agree. go the wrong way. <laughs> but the NFC North, I'm going to sh- throw that one to Sean to start off. We've got, I'll just kind of <laughs> go through their standings real quick. Sure. The Green Bay Packers at six and one, Minnesota Vikings three and three, the Chicago Bears are three and four, and the Detroit Lions are 0 and seven. So, what are your thoughts on that division? It's probably the second worst division behind the NFC East out of the four, uh, the Packers. As long as Aaron Rodgers is playing, it's the same as Tom Brady. That division's his. Whatever division Tom Brady's in, it's his. Mm-hmm. He's the second best quarterback in football right now behind Brady, who I don't know what he's doing. We'll get to your boy in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but like, the Vikings are very inconsistent every year. They they seem like the constant 8-18. Eight and 18. And the Bears and the Lions are the Bears and the Lions. And the worst part about that division is we have to watch those two teams every Thanksgiving. <laughs> that is correct. That's, that is very true, and it's sad. I mean, it's it's really sad. But I don't know why the Bears are always on Thanksgiving somehow. It doesn't make any sense, but it seems like every other year they're on Thanksgiving playing the Lions or playing the Cowboys. Like, why? I don't. No one cares about the Bears outside of Chicago. Yeah, that actually, uh, as far as my disappointment this year, I – I didn't expect them to be this bad. Um, they're three and four, and I expected their defense yeah. to at least carry they'll, them a little bit. They'll probably the, finish. This division's um, all. This division is, like you said, awful. And I could I probably think, say, yeah. I mean, Detroit being 0 and 7, I felt like, I'm like, I, I hate for any team to go 0 and whatever. I mean, I don't care. Unless you're a, in the NFC South and you're not the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I don't want you to go that far 0 and 7. And then I mean, the Packers are still this good after the whole week one loss, the 38 to 3 loss of the Saints, and the whole Aaron Rodgers controversy in the offseason. The fact that they're 6 and 1 right now is impressive to me <laughs> like yeah. that they kept it together i mean in that first loss i mean it, everybody was ready to you know put them Just in their grave they're done they're done yeah. yeah and they won what six in a row and that's not barring tonight's you know they, second, might, uh, win, they, without Devontae, they might win tonight they still have yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Well, they're they are down three of their top receivers so we'll see but he'll just he'll make it work somehow <laughs> like yeah I, it's I, not, it, I agree. I agree with yeah. you. I think he's he's probably the best, one of the best quarterbacks. I mean, top three, I would say, like you yeah. said, where if you put him on any, and I think I said that in my preseason episode, where you could put Aaron Rodgers on any team in the NFL and he would and at least make them competitive. <laughs> you put him on the Lions even, I think they at least have two or three wins. I mean, they're still not good, but. I, I but, think the Lions is is golf. Like, I, as much yeah. as I, I, I feel bad for that guy. He was. Yeah. He was within the Super Bowl. Uh, Ryan Gosling? Yeah, I know. I yeah. feel bad for him. Too. But it's just I, – I think Dan Campbell is putting them in the right direction. It's just one of those things where don't it fire him after year one. Give him yeah. two or three years. Let him at least try and figure it out. What What do you guys have to lose? Nothing's going on in that city. No one yeah. expects you guys to win. Yeah. Like, let them they, figure they, it out. They hung out. I mean, they hung in with the – um with the Rams. I mean, they were, they were yeah, in that yeah. game until last the very week end. until, yeah. until Goff threw an interception in the end zone, but that's well, still not, yeah. five, five minutes left in the game. They were what, six points down. Yeah, so, I mean, sure. and they could have had the lead if things changed. So, I mean, for them to, I mean, I thought the Rams were going to kill them. Oh yeah. And the fact that they hung out with them was pretty good. So, but yeah, yeah that division's pretty much kind of where I, I imagined it. Uh, like yeah. I said, my, my, Picks were the Packers leading division, which is right. Chicago being in second, Minnesota third, and the Detroit Lions being last. So yeah, I mean, it's kind of it's one pretty of those... much where I kind of expected it to be. I, I, mean, I just, gone I after think, this year. yeah, Nagy has to be gone. Um, and then you figure out whoever the new quarterback is for field or coach for Fields is. Yeah, that's the other thing. I feel so bad for Justin Fields because everybody I know, everybody in Chicago, I know, I, follow, I, I watch NFL Network. They want him to start and. They literally put him in there, and he has no offensive line. That yeah. kid, I, I, I mean, obviously we yeah. played them. The Bucks played them last week. He had, he was under pressure every single play. Just couldn't do anything. Fumbled the ball what twice? Threw three interceptions. I mean, I feel bad for him because yeah. he has talent. But if you have no offensive line in the NFL and you're learning, uh, you're it's, that's it's it. Game over. Yeah, because remember, college speed and NFL speed are two different things. Because right. everyone in the NFL was the best player on their team. Right. And pretty the, much. Yeah. You're blitzing um, him and putting yeah, pressure on him. Uh, yeah. My only thing was, is I saw, yeah, the, again, the Vikings third 
and they're gonna still Vikings. So you know, yeah. Like I don't, I don't know if I could trust Cousins. Like in all honesty, they're paying <laughs> him a lot of money, <laughs> thinking that was their answer, and it's not. So the NFC. Oh, go ahead. At, at this point, with the Vikings, though, they're not going. To, there's no cornerback to draft next year. Yeah. Looking ahead at the draft, and then the free agents. You're not going to. I don't think there's a big free agent quarterback after. Even this year. if there is, how are you going to entice them to come to you? Yeah, no yeah. One, I mean Dalvin Cook's great. You have two great wide receivers. The only the only quarterback is Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. he'll be a free agent, maybe. <laughs> if yeah, he Brett Favre. yeah, I don't think he'll do the Brett Favre thing and go to Minnesota. No. I think yes, that would be funny. For, It'd be hilarious. Like, yeah. He literally goes to New York and then Minnesota. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's so the NFC guy. South, <laughs> which is my division, so a, a division I'm very comfortable with. We have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, six and one. The Saints, four and two. The Falcons, three and three, and the Carolina Panthers at three and four. I would say my biggest surprise is that the Panthers aren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Um, they're still, again, four game losing streak. I felt like they were going to be probably a four win team, five win team. And the fact that they have three wins is impressive to me this early in the season. And I'd say my biggest disappointment, I really don't have one because this is exactly my picks are exactly where the division is right now. So the Bucks leading the division, followed by the Saints, who I still think are a playoff team, even with Jameis Winston. They, they, I feel like they're going to make a wild card. And then you got the Falcons and the Panthers kind of playing for last place. So, but that's a, exactly where I thought the division would be. So, what are your guys' thoughts on that? For me, uh, I, I thought Carolina was wishful thinking with Sam Darnold, because I, I, in all honesty, as much as I would love to see him succeed, I just knew it was going to get to a point where he was going to be Sam Darnold again, and the last four weeks have proved that pretty pretty hard for them. Because I have uh, one of our old coworkers came in telling, "Oh yeah, we're three and zero." I'm like, "But who have you played?" Yeah. Like, I don't like to throw, again, don't like to throw that around, but like, you're playing teams that aren't uh, playing at their best. So, I mean, you, you kind of got think, three wins, but then you played teams and you just lost teams you shouldn't have lost to. Yeah. It's that slippery slope of, because the Cardinals, um, they've, they're seven and oh, but they've also beaten the Cleveland Browns, the, yeah, uh, no. the, the Rams, you know, they've beaten some they good played, teams. So they I, played teams, at least, you know, but yeah. With, I'm like, okay, they're 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 a good team. Uh, whereas, yeah, I agree with you with Carolina. You you want to beat the teams you're supposed to beat. That's part yeah. of being a great NFL yeah. franchise. But, but you also too have to take it with a grain of salt of like, you know, oh, we've arrived because we've beaten these teams that okay, I've beaten the Detroit Lions twice or something. You know, it's like yeah. okay. But yeah, I tried I to explain like, that to him about the Saints win. Like they had they they beat the Saints, correct? Uh, the Panthers, or did they lose? No, I can't remember. I thought they beat them, but uh, I basically told him, "I go, yeah, that's cool that you beat them, but you're you're, you're understanding they're not the complete team. They just got back one of their receivers, um, and then now they've got um, you know Thomas coming back eventually. I'm like, you got running backs and you got everyone coming back. When you play them again, it's going to be a different game. What uh, what what Carolina does too is they put a lot. Their whole offense is Christian McCaffrey, and yeah. when he's out, they are a totally different team. Yeah, that team, they, I mean, if there's any team that puts their 100% stock into one player, they're one of them. And their defense is good. Um, they've taken a big step back these yeah. last four weeks. But, uh, yeah, I agree. I so, Sean, what about there. you? If McCaffrey's in there, Darnold's not as bad as he is. Yeah. Like he's forcing plays to whoever he needs to try and get the ball to, whereas McCaffrey's such a mismatch for everyone. Yeah, Except for Tampa. Except for Tampa, we always yeah. handle him. But I'm just saying. I, I'm honestly surprised with <laughs> the Falcons. Like yeah. the past two weeks, like yeah, they played the Dolphins. I forget who they played the week before, but it seems like the offense is figuring it out now. Yeah, like it just. Yeah, but the problem you run into is their defense always That's finds a way to. Yeah. To yeah, but, you got to put up more points in the uh, than the other team, and yeah, you got to trust their defense to stop. I thought the Falcons would be on the bottom, and right now they're they're very close. But I could see them easily being 500 at the yeah. end of the season. I agree. Uh, they've kind of yeah. turned it around. I know they started off what what 0 and 2, and then they kind of you know won some games here. But they, yeah, yeah, no, they I, were getting pummeled the first two games. I remember. Yeah, they've they've yeah. they've turned it around a lot, and I I will say I'm surprised by them. Um, I'm not surprised as a Bucks fan. I'm not surprised that we're six and one. I actually, this is exactly how I kind of predicted it before the season. I predicted the Rams to beat us because that was the Rams. It's a West Coast trip. The Rams are a very good team. Um, so I, I'm kind of, I'm, 
it is where it is. I do think we're still going to win the division. I am worried about the Saints a little bit, but not like last year. It's looking at the schedule. You're not losing. They're not losing another game. I, I see us losing at least two more games. Two I, I, and, that, and that's just from being complacent a little yeah. bit and getting bad bounces, or, injuries. Or we have a lot of your, getting yeah. your season locked up and then just be like, well, okay, we, yeah. we yeah. can the rest only game people. that's questionable is against the Bills, but Tom Brady literally owns the Bills. He's lost to the Bills three times in his career. There, there is that. I do think, though, the Saints, um, this is just a funny stat to me. We lost to them twice in the regular season last year. We won the sure. Super Bowl. The year we won the Super Bowl back in 2002, we lost to the Saints twice out of our four losses were against the Saints <laughs> that year as well. So I feel like they always, you always have that one team that always has your number. The Saints are going to find a way to at least split. I, I, I'm i worried this week that they're going to probably beat us. We're playing in New Orleans. Um, I, I'm kind of predicting we might have a tough time of them. Now, You're if they come back and kill them, game. my prediction may change. But yeah. yeah. I mean, if they win, Jameis Winston's going to act like he won the Super Bowl against them. Like and that's fine. Are you talking about that's eating fine. W's again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you I'm, I'm, make no. it to the playoffs and prove it there. Yeah. Well, the thing, the thing is, like... they used that as locker room material last yeah, year. I, so, I, mean, I, I just like, come on, really? If you <laughs> give them any kind of ammunition, you just don't want to do that. So. Yeah. You have to show yeah, up for the rest of the kind of where I thought it would be. But yeah. And, and then we got the NFC West, which going into the season, I predicted, was going to be the hardest division in football, like the, the most balanced. And I am right and wrong in that, in the fact that you've got the Cardinals at 7-0 and and the Rams 6-1. and And then you got the Seahawks at 2-5 and and the 49ers at 2-4. and uh, Surprise is Arizona. I mean, 7-0. Yeah. and that they're, I mean, who saw that? Seattle being this bad, I know they had it, – it's kind of that they – again, Russell Wilson's their entire team. So without him, they are a totally different offense. They've built the offense around having a mobile quarterback. Geno Smith is not a mobile quarterback. Uh, it's watching the Monday night game with the Saints. He was it was scared. Just, it was just – oh, God. Um, but this division is – I still think the Rams are going to win the division. I really do. I just think that they're one of the most well-balanced teams in the entire NFL. And I did pick the Cardinals as being the second place team in my preseason picks. And that's only because I just felt like they were an up and coming team. I didn't think they'd be this good though. So what are your guys thoughts yeah. on that? Yeah. Think, again. Oh, go ahead, John. Oh no, you're good. You're good. I think the Niners. I just pulled it up. The Niners, all three, are, three of their four losses are one score. Mm-hmm. Like it, you could say, "Oh, it's Garoppolo." They need to put a trailer. No, Garoppolo's playing fine. It's just bad luck. It is yeah. that that Aaron Rodgers game? You gave him forty seconds. <laughs> it's Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. But the last game just in the rain. Double check. <laughs> yeah, the last game in the rain against the Colts. Like you're playing in a monsoon, guys. Like yeah, with the wind. You may have in a hurricane. You, it, but it, they did make the mistake of both teams trying to throw the ball consistently. I yeah, and then yeah, that made no not, sense to me. The Seahawks have to have Russell. This is the most competitive league. Yeah. I just, yeah. no I, one, I, I guarantee you, no one would predicted the Cardinals at seven and zero. No, I predicted them to be good. I expected the Rams to run away, though, with the vision. I did not expect yeah. it yeah. to be this close because, well, like, like I said, the Rams just have a really good defense and a really balanced offense. And with Matthew Stafford, I felt like he just has been in the wrong place at the right, you know, his he's, entire He's career. the one piece they yeah. needed to kind of keep yeah. it from. Like, yeah. you know, like we can get over the hump with this, this one piece. And he's that answer because he can throw the ball all, all over the place. Um, Arizona now is in trouble because obviously JJ Watt is out now. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, like and right. he was just starting to, to get into the rhythm there. And now you're like, well, now he's out for the year pretty yeah. much. So it's. It's pretty much just division is kind of exactly where I predicted it to kind of be. I, I feel like that division is one that comes down to the last week of the season. Yeah, between those two it, teams, one the wild won't. card, the other is the division leader and gets the bye. Yeah, and and I mean the the Cardinals have already beaten the Rams once, so we'll see. You know, in the rematch, you know, I don't know when when they play them again, but I would imagine yeah. it's probably going to be. I'm very a, intrigued to see that rematch because yeah. I know as much as again I bring that up, but la, the week before that, the Rams played Tampa, and that was kind of yeah, like was their, their Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah, and that, then you're like, so I don't know if you watched that game, Sean, at all, but Sean McVay was acting like they had won the Super Bowl when they beat us. And, and I, I mean, at halftime, he was running off the field like he was like they had won the Super Bowl. And I felt like yeah. maybe playing the Cardinals the following week, they that, that you know, oh my gosh, all, emotional drain. Like, we got Matthew Stafford to beat yeah. the Super Bowl, and then they just got laid an egg. 
you know, which was as a yeah. Dolphin fan, I celebrate every time Brady lost to the Dolphins. It was great. Yeah, yeah. that was my Super Bowl every year. Right, every December. <laughs> no, just but, how I feel about the Saints. Nothing yeah. against the Saints for the Saints fans listening, but yeah, <laughs> uh, Rams play the Cardinals December thirteenth. Okay, so it's the prime almost, game. almost the end of the season. So yeah, that'll be that. Yeah. That's that's going to be a really good game. Yes. Yeah, and thank God that's the primetime game instead of whatever they do for their primetime games half the time. Yeah, and then but, now you have to worry about Seattle. Like, you know, what, Russell Wilson will be back in two, three weeks? I think Seattle's – And I, I think, think at that, that point, division is just too – Too stacked. I'm too, like, do you risk injuring him again, or do you, what do you do now? They might do yeah. what they did with Rodgers a couple of years ago, the Packers. When he broke his collarbone, he came back. Yeah. They were, I think they were like eight losses. They lost another one. They're like, you're on IR. Enjoy your – your vacation. Enjoy the rest of your yeah. season. Yeah, I would do that with. You're not. Yeah, because again, why you're, risk it? Yeah, yeah, why risk it? You literally you know, it's not winning you five games to put you at 500 right now. The, the only yeah. thing I can say, I mean, if you look at the standings right now in the wild card, you've got Dallas is going to win that division. You got Green Bay, you got Tampa. The Saints are probably a wild card team. You got the Cardinals and Rams. I mean, you still have another team that could kind of come out of that's at 500 right now i mean you got teams that are below 500 and at 500 in that seventh seed so that's where the nfc east comes in so i mean yeah you can basically (laughs) literally any of these teams can make the playoffs though except for the detroit lions they'll be eliminated very soon but um yeah Yeah, if not already yeah (laughs) make your plans for december and january for january you know exactly we're gonna go on vacation yeah there's another one pick this year (laughs) <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, they definitely will. No, the the, the well, Lions just technically, unless you're like the uh, the Jaguars and you can't even lose correctly to get the, uh, or the Jets. What was it? There's can't even Jets. lose correctly to they get the like, yeah to get the number one pick. Good old we're gonna Matt win. Uh, the Jets won that. <laughs> yeah, good old Matt Gates. <laughs> so Super Bowl picks after the first seven weeks of the season. It's still early to pick Super Bowl picks because obviously things change yeah. and things happen. What are your guys's Super Bowl picks, what you would just confidently say, like, I could see these two teams being in the Super Bowl this year. John, you go first. I, I'm going to say Buffalo. And yeah, until you beat them, I guess Tampa. Because, I mean, I could see yeah. Buffalo and maybe the Rams. But, again, the Rams did that thing. But sometimes in the playoffs, they just don't – I want to say don't show up, but they do get beat. So, that's I, I would say probably Buffalo and Tampa. I was, yeah, Tampa because of Brady. Like I will, I hate him. I can't, I can't vote against him. You know, he just... I hate him with a passion. Twenty-two straight years of him being, <laughs> or twenty years of him being in the division. I will, I hate him. I, I get it. I I, I, trust me, as a Bucks fan, I get it. I, I don't have any kind of loyalty to Brady as far as um, I don't. No, hate he him sold because... his soul for a Super Bowl last year. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> hey, maybe two, hopefully. It's going to be them. I really think it's going. As of right now, I think it's the Titans. I just think Derrick Henry, like, and that's yeah. the way you beat the Bucks too. You just run the ball and keep running well, off the field. Is yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I agree. Um, actually, that was my Super Bowl pick to begin the season. It was yeah. Tennessee and Tampa, and I'm sticking by it. I'm going to stick by my guns. I was a little disappointed with the Jets' loss. To the, the when the Titans beat the Jets, I was like, "Where did that come from?" Yeah, I I'm sticking by it though to have a Tennessee Titans Tampa Bay Buccaneers Super Bowl. That is my pick, and I'm sticking to it. So I'm not changing that. I do think Buffalo is going to be. I actually am probably it's probably going to be. I'm thinking Buffalo and Tennessee in the AFC Championship. Yeah, game. and I yeah. still do think it's going to be Tampa and the Rams uh, to go to the Super Bowl in the NFC. I don't see the Rams faltering unless they have a major injury or something happens. I feel like the Cowboys might be there, though, just because they can clinch that division. And if the Rams don't clinch the division, they're a wild card. They have to go through, and the Cowboys just play different at home. Yeah, I I, I thought about that. The only thing with Dallas is that I would worry if I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan is the fact they're going to clinch their division so early is can you take the foot off the pedal? Yeah, because as you remember the Bucks last year, we had our bye week. We had just lost two games to the Rams and the Chiefs. We had our bye week, and they didn't lose another game the rest of the season. They they figured it out. They got hot at the right time, and that's the only reason yeah. they won the Super Bowl. They got hot at the right time. They played three straight road games and then the Super Bowl. Um, I just feel like Dallas is going to kind of take their foot off the gas a little bit and probably get knocked out in the wild card. I just have this feeling that Dallas is going to Dallas. <laughs> that's, yeah. Again, uh, you know. I just feel like I don't know. I could be wrong, but I just that's my thoughts on that. But 
right. 20 year, 25 years or whatever of uh, history. Yeah, because you don't want to clinch your division too early. I feel like the teams that do that, sometimes it's like you kind of take – I mean, that division is going to be, I mean, set in a couple of days, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> like we, I feel like they're going to clinch it, you know, by week, yeah. what, 10. Regardless, but, though, the NFC is the far superior conference right now. Yeah. Oh, I agree. I mean, the it's, Bucks right now, we are – better one to watch. I mean, we're yeah, winning our division, but we're only right now a three or four seed because we lost to the Rams. So we're they hold the tiebreaker on us. The Cardinals are yeah. seven to zero. The Packers and Dallas. I mean, we beat Dallas, so we have a higher seed than them right now. But Green Bay. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, you I look mean, at that, it. Yeah, that that no, the the NFC is definitely tougher to get through. Yeah, but yeah, because I look at their I look at the NFC and I see six teams that could possibly just just looking at their records and stuff and just how they're playing. You're like, I can see any of those teams making an easy run to the Super Bowl. Yeah. But as long as Tom Brady's playing though. It's... Yeah. <laughs> Tom Brady. Right. Well, Brady yeah. has this magical ability of just falling down. He doesn't take hits. He just falls down. And I, I've never yeah, watched him a lot. Sure. I know Sean, you have for 22 years. I've never watched Brady until except for in Super Bowls, because that's the only time I would watch. And I, it's just the amazing the ability to just be like, I'm just going to fall down and not take a hit. I mean, it's just uncanny I mean, to me. The only way to beat Brady is have the Giants defensive line from the 2000s mm -hmm. <laughs> or have Jason Taylor just go off on him. Yeah. But that's literally just pressure up the middle. Is And no team can do that. They can't figure it out. Well, I feel like, too, a lot of people don't give credit. Um, I was reading an article the other day. Um, they were talking about the unsung heroes of the Bucks is the offensive line. People discount how good their offensive line is, and nobody gives them credit. They don't have any real all pros. Tristan Wirfs deserved to be an all pro. He's given up yeah, one sack in his entire career. career. Yeah, so yeah. it it's just that's it. I mean, but people don't look at that, and I think that's that's you have to have. If Brady doesn't have an offensive line, that team is nowhere. Yeah. They're not the going. The only concern with the Bucks is their defensive backs right now. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're dropping like flies. Yeah, yeah, they have way. They have a lot of injuries. How many are on IR right now? Are all uh, of them? Uh, let's see. They're Carlton starting? Davis, uh, Winfield's hurt. We've got uh, Sean Murphy Bunting. He's hurt. Sherman's on. He's hurt. <laughs> they, they, it's pretty much our entire – yeah, our tar, all of our DBs are pretty much out. Um, they are getting some back. There's, uh, our bye week is actually after the Saints game this coming week. So I, I need – they need that. Right in the middle <laughs> point of the season, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Just – Kind of get healthy, you know. But, Even yeah. then, have a rest. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, just just rest for as long as you need. We're still yeah. winning somehow. I mean, because as they make the playoffs, yeah, if they're healthy, I, they could. I mean, I don't see any reason yeah. why they can just win. Well, last year, getting yeah. Via Vea back helped right. tremendously at the right time. And then, and then Jensen at Tampa, if they get the chance to to host the whole playoffs through Tampa, I, I hate I hate Tampa, but that's a scary place to play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially the humidity and stuff. Well, it depends. If, if, if fans actually show up and it's not 90%, you know, Green Bay fans or Saints fans or whatever, because that seems, seems to be the thing. Every time you go to a Bucks game, there's more fans of the other team than actual. Unless you go to a Dolphins Bucks game, then it's just empty. No one <laughs> <laughs> like, Nobody cares. There was a game, there was a game this week? Yeah. It's just, like, side tangent. That's the, uh, that's the one thing I get that the Florida teams take it to their advantage. Like, oh, it's hot and humid. Teams come from – Make all Florida, make every NFL stadium a dome. It's too hot. <laughs> it's just too it hot. Is. No one wants to yeah. be in 90 degree weather watching a football game. It's it's yeah. hard, man. It's it's hard. I went. I used to go to at least a game or two a year, and it's it's oh god, it's 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 awful. Yeah, my dad had season tickets to the Dolphin games. He would sell all the September games. Yeah, so I'm not going to any of these. It's too hot. It's too, I don't it's care who's hot. playing. But thank you guys for joining me inside the bunker today to talk some NFL and. Please like and subscribe for all of them on YouTube. Please subscribe. You know, smash that like button as as, there you as go. always tells me. <laughs> smash that say. like and subscribe. I'm not all about that like, but please subscribe, listen, do all that stuff. Um, but thank you guys both for joining me. We'll have to do this again. Thank oh, you. and congratulations to the Atlanta Braves for you know making the World Series. But yeah, you guys stole game one and you have game two now. So I'm not talking about it. I'm not saying anything until it's over. The fact that they made it this far with all their injuries, it's just that. Yeah. But hey, this is a miracle yeah. season as far as I'm concerned. They win. Yeah. I will, This will be the first sports team I have watched, like actively watched sports and cared about to win a championship in my lifetime. Because I, I love the Braves. They won it in 96. I was eight. 
it wasn't a Power Ranger, I didn't care. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, I hear you. No, that makes sense. So, like, for them to, if they win, I will probably, like, I don't have the luxury of being a Bucks and Lightning fan, Keith, okay? <laughs> hey, I'm not a Lightning fan, actually. He's I'm a Panther a, fan. I'm a Panther know, fan. And they're, still, they're, what, 6-0 and now, so, you know. The Magic maybe. can't do anything. They don't even know how what a basketball is half the time. <laughs> the Dolphins are consistently the Dolphins. They they make the playoffs. They wind up playing someone from the NFC North and, or AFC North and losing. It, so, it, all it takes is one good year. I mean, I'm I, the Bucks until Tom Brady were irrelevant. I mean, 13 straight years without a playoff spot. The sure. Florida Panthers, my hockey team, they have been awful for God knows how long. The Seattle Mariners haven't made the playoffs in 20 years. <laughs> so they, they need to figure yeah. out the playoff system for baseball in general. Oh, like, it's just, yeah, they do. No, and, and I feel like they're on the up and come. They're going to be good. And yeah, the Magic are awful. I mean, the Magic are my favorite basketball team, but we don't talk. I can't about even the watch them. I used to watch I, I don't them either. all the time. I, I couldn't I tell you two players on the team right now. So. Just, uh, but, no, but yeah, I, thank I you guys. For, yeah. So yes, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, we could go on a tangent about that. We'll do a baseball uh, next season. We'll do a baseball uh, episode. Like are you really games. happy or really sad? So yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Sean just drinking on camera. <laughs> well, see, the thing with baseball is it's hard to do an every week thing. It would be like a okay, let's oh, do wow. a a preseason, a mid season, all star break one, and then a, a like a playoff. Um, picks because yeah. they play so many games and try to keep up with everybody. It's just it's insane. Unless you make this your full time job, so, but sure. But cool. Thank you guys, and I you. look forward to seeing you guys soon. Okay. Thank you.